Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 drag spec tune for you today, and this time it's for the widely loved Red Devil, and this is kind of a hot rod drag spec tune that I'm doing for this car. Now this is primarily an effective car over the quarter mile, beyond that it's not really that capable against most supercars, despite what many people seem to think about this car. It's kind of like the Tornado, in that it's a bit blown out of proportion as to how good this car actually is. But I would recommend racing soft tyres, but I know for drag racing everyone has their own preference there. For the ride height, as I said, like a hot rod, so I've got the rear jacked up to 100 and the front slammed to 60. Now one of the benefits of that is it allows you more suspension travel to take up that drive off the line so that the car doesn't bottom out, because obviously bottoming out on the floor wastes time. Now the springs we've reduced down to 13, 75 and 10. For the dampers we've got 3 and 1 on compression and 3 and 1 on extension. Anti-roll as high as possible to keep the car as straight as possible. Camber and tow neutral. For the gearbox we've got the highest possible auto setting. Then for the individual gears we've got 3.2, 1.9, 1.3 and 950. This is primarily a 4 speed transmission. 5th and 6th we've put to 725 and 550, but you don't really use those. And we've got a final drive of 2. The lowest initial torque to reduce wheel spin. Wheel spin is always an issue for this car anyway, because it has a massive amount of torque and power. We've got the lowest braking sensitivity, all the power upgrades of course, which in this case is just the Stage 3 engine tune, and a supercharger. I will be using NOS on this run. Of course you want the full weight loss package. And as with some of my other rear wheel drive drag tunes, you have two options really. If you want this as a longer distance drag tune, say to go up against primarily other muscle cars, then you want to have your ballast on zero. If however you want to improve it just over the quarter mile, then give it a 150 kilo ballast. Any less than that and it's not as effective, any more than that and it's not as effective. Now I am going to be running it with the ballast to show you what it can do. I'm using an auto box as I do with most of my drag tunes so if you do choose to use a manual you can of course potentially be quicker than this. Now the thing about this car as I said many people think it's a lot better than it actually is but the best things about it are its short distance drag ability and also its mid-range acceleration. Now we're putting up against a car which I put quite a few of my drag tunes up against because it's a very popular choice and it shows what this car is capable of and that's the Supra similar power this car's running a bit more weight especially with the ballast but they're pretty evenly matched overall both rear wheel drive both using nos both have relatively long gears and similar power so let's see how they compare now as you can see and as i said the wheel spin with this car is always an issue and even with the ballast it still only just keeps up with the supra say over the four to five hundred meter range but that's still pretty impressive considering how quick the Supra is. Now you do not want to use the ballast if you're going on longer distance drags because it makes a massive difference in a bad way to your top end acceleration. So as I said you only want to use that if this is just going to be used as a quarter mile car. If you want it as a longer distance tune you just don't need the ballast. Now in terms of spec and acceleration times the ballast doesn't make a massive amount of difference on paper it's only 0.1 of a second quicker to 60 and 0.2 of a second quicker to 100 by adding the ballast but in reality the difference that that 0.1 or 0.2 of a second makes is the equivalent to about 100 or 200 yards ahead of the Supra so in the real world conditions of drag racing it does make a big difference now in terms of spec Without the ballast, this car will hit 60 in 2.2, 100 in 4.4, and will do the quarter mile in 9 seconds dead. It will even cover 6,000 metres in under a minute. So for a muscle car, it is seriously rapid. With the ballast though, it will do the quarter mile 0.1 of a second quicker, so 8.9 seconds, or actually just under 8.9. It will do 0 to 60 in 2.1 and the 0 to 100 time, as I said, goes down by 0.2 of a second to 4.2 seconds, which is pretty impressive. So, if you decide to use this tune for this car, obviously be careful adding ballast, because it does make a big difference to one or the other, either low-end or top-end acceleration. 
And if you decide to use this tune, obviously I hope you find it fun and competitive. And if you're new to the channel, or would just like to keep up with drag tunes like this and other tunes in general as soon as they come out, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for watching.